Hi, in this video I'm going to talk to you about what a mechanical extract ventilation system is and how it can help remove moisture from the wet room to in your property to try and reduce atmospheric moisture or condensation uh, problems occurring in your home. I'm going to use the board, I'm going to show you an example as to how the system works. I have an MEV system here to show you and also the instrument for setting up the unit. So here we have a drawing on this board of an MEV unit which is one of these. Now, put simply, this unit has got a great big fan inside of it, and that fan is sucking air from the wet rooms of your property. So, for example, you would have duct runs going to the bathroom, kitchen, utility room. You may have en suites or various different reasons to have a wet room, uh, but ultimately, the unit will continuously draw air from these rooms, and it will pull it towards the MEV. Once it gets to the MEV, it then takes it out of this end here and it takes it to the outside. Now with these MEV units it can be placed in roof spaces, sometimes in cupboards, so you may have it uh, a core through the wall in a cupboard and it goes out the wall uh, and that's where all the moisture gets sent or if it's in a roof for example you could have a tile vent or it could be a gable end wall again with a, a core going through it and the moisture gets taken out. So a little basic drawer in there, in a roof space, duct goes outside, and you've got the ones where it goes down. Now these systems, I must admit, are easiest to fit in a bungalow, or possibly in a flat where you can run the duct in. In a house, it can be very tricky getting the duct in down to where you want it, unless you're renovating a property and you've got walls exposed and floors up, so you can kind of find routes to send your duct in. So, an MEV, Mechanical Extract Ventilation Unit, it's a centralised system, as you can see, because all the points go to one place. In a previous video, I spoke about the New Air Faith Continuous Fan, and that's a decentralised system. So they're individual fans you would have in the kitchen, bathroom, and utility. And there's pros and cons for either system, but in this video, we're talking about MEV, Mechanical Extract Ventilation. So we mentioned that it's a centralised system. It's also continuous running, so it runs all day and all night. But if you run very quietly, they only have to, you know, you, you barely hear it running. Um, they also have, some of them do, humidity stats. So when it senses excess moisture, so when the relative humidity reaches a certain amount in one of these wet rooms, the humidity stat within the unit will sense this and it will speed the fan up. This then puts it into like a boost mode, so it will draw more moisture. So if you've had a shower, We've been cooking suddenly it might detect that excess moisture and it will speed up and start to take it out then when the humidity goes down again the fan will slow down some also have a boost facility where you can have the unit linked to light switches so if you go into your bathroom you put the light on it will then automatically turn the mev onto boost uh, there is also sensors as well so again if you walk into a room it may sense you've walked in a motion sensor and also do that um, but quite simply, this is what an MEV is. It takes the air from the wet rooms continuously, takes it to the outside. By doing this, it will create a drier environment in these rooms, which then results in less risk of the moisture from these wet rooms traveling to other parts of the house and causing issues with condensation and so on. So having a closer look at one of these MEV units, and I must say this is not a sponsored video, this is just the unit that I've got. Um, we can see that you've got a number of spigots. So on this unit we've got one, two, three, four. Now this spigot here is the one that goes outside. So that will go straight to the atmosphere. Then we have these three other spigots where you can come off here and go to a wet room. To set the unit up, there's a control button on this one where you can put it up and down so you can increase the fan speed. Now, you may be thinking, well, how do you alter it for individual rooms, the fan speed? You may want to have a higher airflow from the kitchen than you do from the utility or from the bathroom or so on. So one thing to point out is the MEV ducts run to these things. These are called extract valves. They go on the ceiling or you can have them on a wall if it ducts through the wall. These, you can alter these, you can open and close them and that will increase or decrease the airflow. 
Now, like I say, when you turn the unit on, the fan will run at a certain speed. You can increase or decrease it. So the way to distribute the air to, to the set amount that you require in each area, you will use these and you will alter them as required and you will increase and decrease the fan. Now, the only way to test the actual airspeed is to use one of these, an anemometer. So this quite simply will go over the grill like this and then we measure how many litres per second is coming through it. We move around each room and measure, measure. So say for example in the kitchen we might want 13 litres a second, in the bathroom we might want 8, the utility might also want 13. So we'll go around and see if we get those numbers. And if we are, mark, say if we get six in there, six there and six there, we're miles below what we want. So we know we need to increase the fan speed of the unit. So we'd go to here and we'd increase the fan speed. We'd then go back round with this and we would try again to get the number that we want. And just, we'd have to alter the uh, valve slightly and things like that uh, to get the required airflow rate. Now, it's not just a guess coming up with the required airflow rate. We use approved document F, the building regs, and this gives you guidance as to how to work out the airflow rates. Uh, and that will be for another video. But quite simply, this is an MEV system. Uh, like I said, it's suitable for bungalows, flats. It can go in a house, but it is trickier to put in. Um, if you just want to use it, say, for the upstairs wet rooms, you could use it. So if you have a, a a bathroom and a couple of en suites you could just use it for that and then you could then have a decentralized continuous running fan maybe in the kitchen for example so you've still got continuous fans running throughout the building because you never want to mix ventilation types you're either going to have a centralized system uh sorry a decentralized system that's continuously running or these intermittent fans or this what we call an mvhr system they're kind of the three main systems and then there's a piv unit as well which people use um, so that's a quick overview of what an MEV unit is. Hopefully you find that useful. If you've got any questions, just uh, give us a comment.